Hello friends. Today's video is one that's been on my mind for months and months. And after some comments and arguing back and forth a few weeks ago, I decided I don't want to be a Peter. I don't want to deny my faith. I don't want to hide it. I don't want to deny my Lord. So every now and then there will be a video on my channel about my Christian faith. Now I will create a separate playlist for them and you can choose to watch or not watch. But I'm not going to deny my faith or how it affects my life because it is a big part of my life and who I am. Our world has turned upside down, inside out, twisted itself in knots. It has, for want of a modern term, gone crazy. I use that term a lot when I'm signing off my videos. Life for so many people is not scary but absolutely terrifying and you know here in the last few days we've seen thousands of Australians lose their homes and their livelihoods they've had their whole lives uprooted and all from unprecedented flooding and rainstorms that have covered more than half our country that's a big area we've lived through a pandemic if we watch the news, we'll see that there are droughts worse than any before known in one part of the world, while in another part of the world, floods are wiping out homes and businesses and crops, destroying people's um, lives. And another part of the world is burning with fires so fierce that entire cities have been wiped from the face of the earth. All these things brought to mind Matthew 24 verses 4 to 31. Now I know it's almost a cliche that um, the words of this chapter of Matthew be used to describe what is happening in our world. But reading over them and Luke writes a very similar version of what will bring about the end of time in chapter 21 verses 5 to 37. I can't help but see that the words of Jesus are being fulfilled. And that should scare me. It should scare you. It should scare everyone. But it doesn't scare me. I'm a planner and a preparer. So I am read, I've learned, I've studied and I know what's coming. So I welcome the trials and the tribulations that are still to come. Now, don't get me wrong. I don't like them. And I don't particularly want to go through them. But I welcome them because they are the signs that Jesus will be back very, very soon to gather us to him. And I want to be ready. I want to rise up into the sky to meet Jesus as we're told in 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 verse 17. I think that would be so, the word I use is exciting. I'm sure that's not the right word, but how glorious would that be? And so I pray. Paul wrote in Thessalonians to pray without ceasing. And that's in you'll find that in First Thessalonians chapter five verse seventeen, and I think that now is not the time to stop praying. Now is the time to spend more time praying. I pray for myself. I pray for my husband. I pray for my children. I pray for extended family and friends. I pray to give thanks for all that I have, that my needs are supplied. I pray for forgiveness and for strength. I pray that the Lord will open my mind and my heart so that I'm not fooled by Satan and his evil angels and all the things, the deceptions, that I'm not deceived by the false prophets. And you know what? Jesus taught us how to pray. So even when we are at our most stressed and can't think straight, we can pray. How blessed are we that our Heavenly Father thought to teach us how to pray to him? Now, I'm pretty sure everyone, be you Christian or not, is familiar with the Lord's Prayer. 
and you'll find that in Matthew and in Luke and I'll put the links below me for you if you're not familiar with them. It was probably the first prayer most of us were taught after the Now I Lay Me. And Jesus taught it to the apostles and he's taught it to us so we can pray without ceasing, even under stress and even under duress. Now I'm not saying our prayers should be mindless, but rather that when we are mindless, we have a prayer taught to us by Jesus that we can send to our Heavenly Father and we know he'll hear it and answer it. Thank you so much for watching. If you have a question, leave it in the comments below. If you have a comment, please share it, but remember to keep it respectful. Now, I read all comments and I do my best to answer all your questions. And if you'd like to see more of this type of video, again, let me know in the comments. And I'll be back very soon with another video for you. But bye for now.